Hello, my name is Carissa Lindsay, and today I will be discussing how to solve story problems using bar models. I will show you my materials I'm going to use in this video. I have two whiteboards. This is for the solution and checking. This is for the this whiteboard is for the bar models. This is my whiteboard marker. This is my whiteboard eraser, and this is the story I'm gonna read now. <clears throat> Once upon a time, there lived two brothers, Peter and Andrew, in a village. One day, they collected some stickers. Peter collected 587 stickers. He collected 193 more stickers than Andrew. How many stickers did the two collect altogether? In solving a story problem, we have to apply the UPAC. Now, what does UPAC stand for? U stands for understand, B stands for plan, A stands for answer, and C stands for check. I understand the story problem. We need to have two solutions and answers here. Number one, how many stickers Andrew collected? And number two, how many stickers the two boys collected all together? Let's now plan. I'm going to draw bar models to show how to solve this story. I'm also going to label and put the names and the numbers so that I don't forget it later on. I will use a comparison bar model for this. Okay, so who gets this bigger bar this bigger and longer bar model, obviously it's Peter because he has 193 more than Andrew, it says in the story. So Andrew gets this one because, and there's a question mark here because we don't know how much Andrew has yet. Oh, there's this 193, it's, it's an extra. And extra, it says here that he collected 193 more stickers than Andrew. So I'm gonna put it in this extra spot. And I will also label now. Peter and the So I'm going to go to my solution now. I'm going to subtract 587 to 193, which is the extra, so that I can find out how much Andrew has. Oops, I ran into a problem, but don't worry, I can fix this. So, uh, as we see here, just let me fix my four. As you see here, we cannot subtract eight to nine because that is not possible. So, we are going to borrow one then from five. So, the five will become four, and the eighteen, I mean the eight will become eighteen, as, you see, as seen here. And 18 minus 9, that is 9. 4 minus 1, that's 2. So, it's, um, so I'm going to put this here. So, since we now know that the 193 is an extra, I will now erase the question mark and instead put extra. And I will also add Andrew's number, which is 394 stickers. Let's check if we got the correct answer. Here. I will now go to my checking and solution board. I will subtract 587 which is Peter's amount of stickers, to 394, which is Andrew's amount of stickers, so that we can see, or I can see, if we get the number of the extra. So, as you see here, we cannot subtract 8 to 9. So what will we do? We will borrow 1 from 5, 1 10 from 5, so the 5 will become 4, and the 8 will become 18, which is 8 minus 9, 18 minus 9, 9, which is 4 minus 3, 1. So we've got the amount of the extra, meaning we got the correct answer. Since we already got Andrew's total of collected stickers, 
as you see here, we can now proceed to the second and final solution. Let's use the same bar model here. I will just remove the extra part because we don't need it anymore. So how many stickers did the two boys collect all together? When we say or hear the word all together, it means combining or adding. Let's add Peter, Peter and Andrew's collected stickers. I will now put the question mark over here. Here, I put the question mark over here. Let's add Peter and Andrew's collected stickers. Now, instead of using subtraction again, I will use I will use addition because, as I said a while ago, when you say or hear the word all together, it means combine or add. I will add. 587, which is Peter's amount of stickers, to 394, which is Andrew's amount of stickers, to see if I get, so I can get the answer. Oops, you ran into a problem again, but don't worry, I can fix this. So, 7 plus 4 is 11, but we can't just put 1 over here, so we are going to carry over 1 and put it on top of 8. 8 plus 9 is 17, plus 1 is 18. Since it is also a two-digit number, or it's 18, we will carry over the 1 over 5. 5 plus 3 is 8, plus 1 is 9. So, we got the answer, which is, and 981 is the, is the collected total of stickers from the boys. I can now put the total and final answer over here. I put the 981 here. We now have 981 total of numbers of stickers that the boys collected. Let's check. So I will subtract 981 to 587 to see if we get the amount of Andrews. I will borrow 1 from 9, when 1 10 from 9 again, so it becomes 8. But this is still smaller than this. 1 is smaller than 7, so I will turn it into 17. 17 minus 8, 9, 8 minus 5, 3. So we got the amount of Andrews. Now I will subtract 981 to Andrews' amount of stickers to see if we get Peter's amount of stickers. And if we get Peter's amount of stickers, then we will be correct. I will borrow 110 one from 9 again. It will become 8. 18, still smaller, 17, 11, 11 minus 4, 7, 17 minus 9, 8, 8 minus 3, 5. So we got the correct answer. This is Andrew's amount of stickers and this is Peter's amount of stickers. So here is my bar model from the story problem. Peter has 587, Andrew has 394, and I combined the two. So it became 981. We have 981, which is the total number of the stickers that the two boys collected. So it is our total and final answer. We got it correct. That's all. I hope you learned and enjoyed watching this video. Bye!